It's uh, about time to go, Ben. It's a nice car. <laughs> yeah, me and Art pulled it out of a junkyard at Benning. Restored it ourselves. Think about going into it after the war. Yeah, he told me about all that. You, you know, you, you could still do that. I mean, it'd still be a good business. Hey, man, look, don't push being buddies, all right? You might be all right with Selma, but I want you out of my face. I'm not in your face. I'm here because I served alongside Art Binion. Big deal, McNeil. He's dead. You alive. How come you didn't cover the grenade, chump? How come it's always got to be one of us? It isn't always one of you. In case you haven't noticed, corpses come in all kinds of colors. Noticed? Where do you think I policed up this limp? Walking on the beach? I drank. 65. Custer's good old 7th Cal. I've seen enough corpses to last me forever. I'm real sorry about that. But there were a lot of white corpses in 7th Cav, too. Bullets don't discriminate. Yeah, well, maybe I do. Maybe I just can't get past the idea of a white man speaking over my brother-in-law's grave. Well, I'll tell you what. It was right after Ted Ben Cat it was. Art lost four of his men. He lost four white men. Spare me the sob story, all right? No, it ain't all right. All right's what it ain't. Because at the memorial service for these four men, these four white men, Art got up and he said a few words. He had something individual and something personal to say about each one of them. Like they were humans, like they were people. He got beyond the color. Let's move. Ground's waiting. 